The numbers are staggering. Right now, about 100,000 people are on a wait list for a kidney transplant, but there aren't enough donors. While it hasn't been perfected, researchers are working to see if some animals might be able to fill the gap. Maureen Halliday reports. When it comes to saving lives for people with kidney disease, the math just does not add up. When you think about 37 million Americans with chronic kidney disease, and at any given time, six to 800,000 have actual kidney failure, and we only wait list 80 to 100,000, and we only transplant 25,000. Researchers at the University of Alabama at Birmingham are some of the first to fill the need with xenotransplantation. And the goal, of course, is to sort of really basically eliminate that gap between supply and demand. And in our case, we're hoping to do that with pig organs. Well, interestingly, pigs actually have kidney function that's quite similar to human. Researchers use a CRISPR, which is a genetic editing tool to edit out genes that would cause a human body to reject the organ. It kind of tricks the human immune system into thinking it's something from a human. And because pigs can live 30 years, researchers believe the organ will last that long for humans, and they hope to use more organs from pigs. And so I think certainly those of us in xenotransplantation see a future in which one pig can donate a heart, a pair of lungs, a liver, a kidney, maybe even a pancreas. And help to get more people on and off the transplant waiting list. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. Several pig organ transplant recipients have died in recent months following their operation. Now it's important to remember that xenotransplantation is still very much in the experimental stages, but researchers are committed to perfecting this alternative source of organs when human organs are not available. The next step will be a clinical trial to seek FDA approval.